Vibes. How's everything going? How's my Patreons? And uh, what are we doing today? Um, today we are talking about what irks me about some art YouTubers here on YouTube, basically. Okay, we have... There's quite a few art YouTubers here on YouTube. Um, and... Um, the thing that irks me, I mean, I'm not building on their artistic talent. I don't think that a lot of people who does art YouTubes, who does art videos here on YouTube, realize that YouTube videos is like teaching. You literally have to almost be a teacher. It entails knowing the product, knowing what you're going to say, especially if you're doing reviews or you're doing product presentation. You know, you need to know about that product. You need to do some research before you present it to the people. You know, you really need to know what you're going to say first. There are some art YouTubers who does videos here. And I'm not, like I said, not dissing their talent. I'm sure they're they're amazing artists. They're just not really good at product presentation. And I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm really not saying I'm the best. I just say I don't quite enjoy their product presentation. I mean, let's, for instance, you know, there is this art YouTuber and she's very popular. I mean, hugely popular. 10,000 times more popular than I will ever be. And... Oh my goodness, my Fred. Oh, sorry, my plants. Excuse me. I just noticed my cactus started to lean over. So it's like, his name is Fred. And he's growing really tall and strong. And he just started to lean over. So I was like, oh my goodness, I have to prompt him up a little bit. Because I didn't want him to fall. I wanted to start to grow and grow. But anywho, where were we at? We were talking about art YouTubers. Who doesn't know what they're talking about? <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying, you have some art YouTubers. And like I said, they're way more popular than I am because they're amazing artists. But I think they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, they would bring out, they will talk about a product. Let's say, for instance, they will talk about a watercolor ink. Oh, they went to the store and saw this interesting looking watercolor paint set. And they bought it and now they're bringing it to you. And they open it up and they didn't like the fact that the watercolor paints it that they bought come in a plastic tube. And then they try it and oh my goodness, they have the absolute worst brush ever when it comes to watercolor painting. And I don't know who they're fooling with these flimsy little brush because watercolor A is just so terrible. And... I am, you know, here am I living in a third world country, living in a country who doesn't have access to a main... Sorry about that. My husband just came in and asked me something. Yeah, so here am I living in a third world country and we don't have access to Daniel Smith. We don't have access to M. Graham. We don't even have access to... What else? Um... Van Gogh, Da Vinci, we don't have access to these high tier watercolor sets. So we might only have watercolor A that's accessible in our country. And if you're not in a position in like someone like me who's able to, you know, order stuff on Amazon or get stuff through um, from Amazon or from different countries, if you're not in that position and you can only buy watercolor A because that's what's available in the country and you're looking at this channel telling you, oh, this watercolor is the absolute worst. Now you're going to think that the only watercolor set that is available in your country is the absolute worst because this particular YouTuber that you love, that you think is an amazing artist, says it's so bad. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, to me, it's committing like the ultimate art sin. Because going on this journey in art, I've learned one major thing. Everybody's art style is different. It doesn't necessarily mean because when I work with watercolor A, I get terrible results. Doesn't necessarily mean that watercolor A is terrible. It just means when 
I work with it, I get terrible results because maybe this watercolor doesn't match my artistic style. It doesn't match the way I use um, watercolor. It doesn't match the way I, my art, the way I use watercolors or the artistic style I have. I mean, everybody artistic style is different. Every, the way people interpret art is different. The way people draw is different. The way people color is different. So not every single product that is out there will match your artistic style. And I'm sorry, I just have to rant on that because I was watching this very popular YouTuber and she's just, just basically raining fire on cheap art supplies. And I'm like, lady, come on, hold up, wait a minute. There are people in the world who just might have access to these cheap art, art supplies and you're raining fire to probably the only art supply they have access to because you can't work with it. Maybe it's your artistic style that doesn't match this cheap art supply. I mean, does it ever configure in their minds that maybe that's the problem? Maybe it's not the fact that the the the, the product is cheap and it's it's flimsy and it's bad. Maybe it's just basically your artistic style doesn't match it. Simple as that. The way you like to draw doesn't match it. The way you like to paint or color doesn't match it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It just means basically you don't know how to work with it. And then they'll say stupid things like, oh, this, this, the, the, oh my gosh, I can't stand the fillers that are in this thing. Okay, the majority of the time the fillers are either chalk or a, PB, or, or a PBW pigment, you know? And half the times, a lot of the stuff that we use in art, either having chalk or PW, which is pigment white, especially gouache. So what are you raining fire on? Oh, the fillers are bad. How do you know the fillers are bad? I mean, what research have you done with this art product to say, oh, the fillers are bad. Oh, these have terrible fillers. Just because you can't work with it? It has terrible fillers? I mean, they literally say, oh, I just bought this. Nothing else. Oh, um, 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 yeah, this is terrible. It doesn't say, oh, these were made in... Uh, just for instance, country B. Artist, art, artist, watercolor paint made in, con watercolor paint A made in country B. And I don't like it because I can't, and it's, the truth is they can't work with it. Yeah, it's like, wow, they don't do any kind of research. Literally, they, this, there's a particular YouTuber and very popular. I'm not going to say who this person is, but they're very popular and they do not do any kind of research. Just go to the store, see this product and like, oh, it's, um, I got it at this store and I don't like it. No research of whatsoever. They don't contact a company to find out anything about the product. And all of a sudden it's the worst thing ever. I mean, it doesn't even, that's why I just like, I was just so peed off because I'm like, if this person was in front of me, I would let them realize that, hey, guess what? There are other places in this world where people might only have access to that product you're burning fire on. And so basically you're telling somebody who lives in a country that only have watercolor A that maybe watercolor A might be the only place in your country. Let me be the only product in your country, but it's bad. So that's me. You should practice watercolor. That's basically the message you're telling them. Or they go and get craft paint. Oh, these craft acrylic paints are the most terrible thing ever. When did you ever contact a company to find out what, um, how they make this? When did you ever contact the, uh, the company to find out what pigments are in it? You know, when did you ever did some kind of research? Did you even Google it before you present it to the, other, to the world? And then you're like, oh, it's so terrible. Oh, this is so bad. I can't even make art with it. Come on, man. Get off yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just have to rant because I was so beat up. I'm watching this YouTuber. They went on a cheap shopping sale. And again, very popular person. And they're like, Oh my gosh, it has this brush. This brush is the most terrible brush there is in the entire watercolor world. I use it as a pointing tool. Why? Because I don't know how to work with it. Not because it's the most terrible thing in the world, but because I, yo, 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 wo, shu, don't know how to work with it. 
I am not going to tell somebody, an up-and-coming artist, that this is terrible because this might be the only type of brush they know about and they learn how to work with this. And for that person, I applaud them because I don't have that talent to work with this brush. But I'm not going to burn fire on them because this is the most terrible thing in the world. I may, have, I may have said that earlier in my artistic journey because out of my ignorance, but then I learn that, guess what? There are people out there who are watching me, who are expecting me to know what I'm talking about and know that I shouldn't discriminate against them. I am sorry. I, I, I am, I am, I was with my wits in. I mean, they did... There are some people who should not be doing product reviews. I'm sorry. They're, they're talented artists. They are amazing at drawing. But they should not be doing product reviews. They should not be talking about products because obviously they don't know what they're talking about. They obviously don't. And I am not. Yo, well, shoot. I am not the most intelligent, experienced, most knowledgeable person in the world when it comes to art supply. But at the same time, there are certain things I will not say. I will dare not say. And even if I said it previously in, my, in the beginning of my artistic journey, I apologize. I did it out of ignorance. But as I learn, I grow. I will not tell somebody that that product is bad. I will. I have artistic love watercolor paints. I don't say it is the most terrible thing in the world. I say I don't know how to work with it. I'm learning how to work with it. It's something that I am have to learn how to work with because maybe it didn't match my artistic style and I have to learn how to move it and mold it to match my artistic style and learn how to work with it. The more you get into art, you get, the more you get to learn that different artists, especially watercolors, have different personalities. They have different characteristics. It's almost like meeting a new person for the first time. Every All of us, whether regardless of our culture, our heritage, our national background, regardless of that, each of us bring our own different flavor, taste, personality, perspective to the table. And when you meet somebody, you have to learn how to work with that person. Maybe it's somebody who prefers to work on their own and they don't want to join join a part of a party so you have to coax them you know you have to just tell them okay this is what i'm doing you know bring them in let them cooperate or maybe it's somebody who as they meet you they give you a big hug and kisses and you just have to be you know and maybe you're not that type of person maybe you're stenographers or whatever watercolor is the same way it has a personality of itself and it's up to us, the artists or the watercolorists or the person who is working with the watercolor paint to find the characteristics, the personality of that watercolor paint and learn how to let it mold and moves with our artistic style. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best watercolor paint in the world. It means that maybe it doesn't match our artistic style. That's basically it. I presented some pencils. It's one of the best pencils in the world. Basically, it really doesn't match my artistic style. If I should use it with a different subject in my artistic style, I don't know what to do with those colors because it doesn't match me. It doesn't as make it bad. I work with cheaper pencils. It match my artistic style. Because I learned how to work with it. I'm just tired of these YouTuber artists that are coming out here and just talking and raining down on cheap art supplies because they don't know how to work with it. And at the same time, they're talking about it as if they're presenting it. They're supposed to know what they're talking about, but they don't do the research. They don't email the company or the manufacturers of these products. And they're like, oh, these are the terrible things. These are the worst brushes. This is the worst paint I've ever tried. Oh my gosh, don't use this product. I would prefer that before they rain fire down on an artistic product or an, or an art supply, do the research first. Find out about that product. Work with it first. Find out if that product match your artistic style. Find out if that product match the way you draw, find out that product match the way you color, find out that product match the way you paint. 
if it doesn't match it say that it doesn't match it just basically say guess what it's not something that matches me i don't know how to work with it because at the same time someone out there in the world might only have this product to work with and they know how to work with it you know just 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 stop man there are people out there who are depending on you to give them accurate compassionate information and for this youtuber i know there's no chance in heck they will ever see this video but just stop i wish i have the opportunity to meet them and let them know that there are people out there in the world that doesn't live in developed countries okay they can't go to their lo local jackson's or michael's or blick stores to get the art supplies that they have they don't have um a mom and pop stores that sell sennelier's and daniel smith's and liquid text and golden they don't have access to that they might just have access to artist loft apple berry they might just have access to the paints that you collect at your local dollar tree because that's what their country brings in and they don't have the money to order anything online or from amazon stop just stop be more compassionate to people please i'm sorry for the rant but that person just ticked me off and if you're going to rain fire dung on an art product please learn about it first before you say oh i just been to the store and i found this product you've been to the store this is what i found i'm presenting to you i'm not saying it's the worst i haven't worked with it yet and i haven't done any research on it yet say something like that contact the company find out what it's made of before you say, oh, the fillers are bad. How do you know the fillers are bad? Did you talk to the manufacturer? Okay. What is it made of? How do you know that this is the worst thing? Because you tried it once. Maybe you don't know how to work with it. You know, just, just stop. You might be popular and you might be creating this amazing YouTube art community. But in retrospect, you're actually alienating some people and you're making people who live in developed countries like me feel terrible about ourselves. So just stop.